In today's video I will show you how to fix Facebook attribution with the help of Google Data Studio. You probably know that some rough time is going on in the uh, advertisement world due to iOS 14 privacy updates and um, how it is impacting on uh, Facebook attribution numbers as it is showing. In this video I will show you um, the way how to fix it with the help of Google Data Studio. So let's get started. I will start from the end uh, to show you the solution and then I'll explain how to replicate it. As you can see on this slide, I do have a dashboard when you can where you can see Facebook ads performance breakdown by campaign name and ad set level and um, uh, we can clearly compare numbers from Facebook directly uh, with Google Analytics numbers by a last non-direct click plus revenue numbers with uh, assistant conversions um, as well as Shopify sales data. Uh, these data can help you optimize Facebook ads performance. Uh, the most important thing to build uh, this solution is to utilize UTM parameters to track the actual source of the, uh, transactions. Let's start with a quick explanation of UTM. UTM codes are bits of text that you can add to the link to tell Google Analytics and other analytics tools a little bit more information about each link. Uh, we can only use five types of UTM parameters for Google Analytics to parse it correctly. It is campaign source, medium, uh, campaign name, content and term. The next step that we need to do is to understand what dynamic UTM parameters Facebook offers to place on your ads. It's um, ad ID, ad set ID, campaign ID, uh, ad name, ad set name, uh, campaign name, placement and site source name. Uh, for our solution the most important uh, part uh, is uh, ad set ID. Why we are using ad set ID? Because it is unique in the identifier of your ad set and um, on the ad set level we are mainly optimize campaigns and this number doesn't change when we change uh, the ad set uh, name. Additionally we will use campaign name and placement. Uh, the final UTM template will look like this. And right now I will show you how to paste it in Facebook Ads Manager uh, to track ad clicks. So I copy this UTM template. We need to go on the ad level and click uh, paste the UTM uh, template here. If you have a lot of ads, you need to manually copy and paste um, this UTM uh, template for, for all your ads. It is impossible to automate. Then we need to join data uh, in Google Data Studio. The join key will be ad set ID. And then we need to choose uh, some metrics from Facebook ads. It will be campaign name, cost, website conversions, website purchases, conversion value and return on ad spend. Uh, from Google Analytics we will pull uh, revenue data uh, for last non-direct click plus total con conversion value. Uh, for assisting conversions. For, and for, from Shopify we will pull uh, Shopify sales data. In order to pull this data, we need to use paid connectors from Supermetrics or PowerMy Analytics uh, to mm, pull all these uh, fields. Uh, the next slide is showing how it is joined in Google Data Studio. Now you can clearly see the whole performance of your ad campaigns and compare whether Facebook underestimate or overestimate uh, the campaign performance. And then you can increase or decrease budgets or stop the campaign. Kind of similar things that uh, provides uh, Hyros uh, and also Victit reports if you're familiar with these tools. Last but not least I highly suggest you to measure a marketing efficiency ratio. That is a total ad spend divided by revenue. It is especially crucial when you are running ads across different channels and want to know how your marketing mix is performing. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to import cost data in Google Analytics and create um, 
uh, marketing efficiency ratio metrics in Data Studio. Uh, this break down by days and set a KPI uh, for these metrics. If you have any question about this topic, let me know in the comments below. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Data Studio. And if you need help with Data Studio, check links in the description below.